It's not a big deal, but it's interesting. Check this out over here. Yep, that is a maple leaf. You thinking what I'm thinking? An appreciation to the people of Canada for their steadfast friendship, especially their courage in rescuing six United States diplomats from siege in Iran, January 1980. From the people of the Grand Strand of South Carolina. So this monument is in memory, not memory, this monument is in appreciation from the Grand Strand to Canada. And it's right here at the Myrtle Beach Convention Center. Now you might be wondering, what in the heck are they talking about? 1980 diplomats? Well, let's do a little research and find out. To dig a little deeper and find out what this monument really means, we have to go to Tehran, Iran. Actions of Iran have shocked the civilized world. Our embassy has been seized and more than 60 American citizens continue to be held as hostages. The six of the hostages went out a back exit. Where are they? The Canadian ambassador's house. During the Iranian Revolution in 79, the U.S. Embassy was taken over by, I believe it was primarily students. And uh, during this hostage situation, uh, there was upwards of 60 uh, people trapped in the building. Six of them, U.S. officials, actually escaped the facility and found refuge in a nearby uh, Canadian's home. During this hostage uh, crisis, uh, there were U.S. CIA-run uh, missions to rescue these individuals that ended up in extreme failure. So they decided to go with a different route. Rather than straight up sending in helicopters and military forces to get these people out, they decided to do a sneaky mission where they created a fake movie, fake film crew, and used this as an excuse to extract these six individuals as part of the film crew, as seen in the movie Argo. I got an idea. They're a Canadian film crew for a science fiction movie. I fly into Tehran. We all fly out together as a film crew. I need you to help me make a fake movie. Spoiler, it worked, and they got the six individuals out. And because of this, and the assistance from Canada, the American citizens were very thankful to Canada. Hence, this monument. 